This is a quick demonstration of the new user experience for Remote Desktop Gateway after the enabling of the Azure Web Proxy functionality. Users will open up Internet Explorer from their desktop. They'll connect to the Remote Desktop Gateway access page where they'll authenticate directly using their user credentials. And then they'll be presented with an icon that they can use to start Remote Desktop Gateway as usual. Once started, they'll have a similar experience using Remote Desktop Gateway applications to any server internally that they might normally have access to. Once the application starts, they'll be able to use the Remote Desktop Gateway connection functionality as they normally do. Configuring Remote Desktop Gateway in this fashion gives us some advantages from a security perspective that aren't currently in place. The first of which will be that your Remote Desktop Gateway server only needs to communicate with Azure and there does not need to be any inbound communication directly to your environment from the end user. The second is that by pushing the communications through this web page allows us to utilize uh, Azure's more robust multi-factor and conditional access settings. This way, we can control which users are allowed to connect to the environment and which mechanisms they're allowed to use when doing so. In this instance, I'll attempt to connect to the remote access gateway service from a location that has not been authorized for my account. Upon authenticating to Azure, you'll see that I'm presented with a message stating that I cannot access this resource right now. This is just one of the ways that conditional access can be configured to allow or not allow access to certain resources in your environment. This sums up the demonstration of Remote Desktop Gateway used in conjunction with Application Proxy provided by Azure. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks.